Hello everyone, this is Free Name on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to factory reset this strong Atria Wi-Fi Mesh AX3000 device. So in my example I've forgotten the Wi-Fi details and I've messed up the Wi-Fi Mesh so this light isn't on. Um, I've changed the IP address to 192.168.33.254 instead of its default 192.168.7.254 and I've forgotten the login password for example. So what we need to do is stick a pin in the back to factory reset it so we can reconfigure it from the beginning. So you'll need a SIM eject tool or an unbent paper clip and at the back of this router between the power button and the WPS button is a hole which is RST for reset. So while you can see the lights on the front of this router I'm going to let you know when I'm going to put the or press the button that with the uh, paper clip that I've got currently in there and I'm going to press it now and I'm going to hold it down for about 10 seconds. The power light has started flashing and I'm going to let go. It momentarily stopped responding to pings on the the custom IP that I'd set. And the device should now start up from the beginning. Sorry about it getting very bright just then. The sun decided to shine. I've got no control over that. So it came in through the window and uh, suddenly made everything ridiculously bright. Like that. It's doing it again. Stop it. The device is still booting up. These things do take quite a while to start. And it is now back on the default IP address. It will have the default Wi Fi name and the default password, which are all on the sticker on the underside. So hopefully that video has been helpful to you. I do have some other videos on this uh, Atria device. So I've got one on the mobile app if you want to see every single screen that you can get on the mobile app. One on the admin interface through the web uh, portal that it can you can get to. And then one which does the initial setup and some benchmarks to see what speed you get out of this device. So if those videos might be interesting to you, then have a look at the description and there'll be links to those. Um, and if it has been useful, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscribe numbers are really helpful. Uh, so thank you very much.